hi everyone welcome back to my kitchen in today's video we're going to be preparing some mixed vegetable and as you can see right here on my sink are the things that i'll be needing for this mixed vegetable i have some cabbage in a bowl some fresh fish fresh tomato paprika carrot i still have some extra cabbage in there I also have here my green beans and the onion so I'll be starting with these things but along the way I'll be adding some uh, other ingredients so I'll get started with my fish I'll just season my fish up for frying because I'm not going to be boiling nor steaming it all I'm going to be doing with this fish is to season and fry so we'll put in some salt, sprinkle some salt on our fish. We'll put in a cube of maggi. Some white pepper powder. Okay, so that's all we're going to be seasoning our fish with. So, we'll make sure all the spices are touching the fish. Rub it all over the fish. We're going to let the fish rest. We start with a cabbage so let's slice a cabbage let's chop up a cabbage okay so yes all a cabbage in this pot i'm going to be putting in some hot water i normally don't boil my cabbage before washing i just have to put hot water in it and then wash it just properly so in the hot water i'm adding some salt and then my cabbage the water isn't enough i'm still going to boil more water and add into this all i will do is just to Keep it here for some time and then wash and squeeze it. So let's continue with our carrots. We're just going to chop up our carrots. So that's all of our carrots. We're just going to transfer it into the tray. And here's the paprika that we'll be using. I've just washed it and uh, let's chop it up. 
feel free to chop up your vegetables in any shape that you want. Any shape is fine. And yeah, I also have my green beans, which I'm also going to chop up. So that's all about our green beans. Let's get back to our cabbage. It's been in that pot with hot water for some time. I think it's uh, time for us to wash it and squeeze it. So what I normally do is to transfer it into this and uh, wash it with water, cold water, and then I squeeze the water out of it. So here's it. That's our cabbage after washing. And here we have all our vegetables that have been chopped up. In this tray, I still have my onion, spring onion, and tomato to slice. Okay, let's get started. Here's a pot that I'm going to be cooking in. I'm just going to put in some oil. Okay, so I'll start with the, uh, let's let our oil to warm up and then we can uh, finish up with the slicing. We can chop up our tomato and the rice and then we can continue our cooking. Let's chop up, chop up our onion. And a spring onion. So let's get back to our pot and start putting in our fish into the pot. Here's a fish that was seasoned up earlier. We just transfer this fish into a hot oil and let it fry. While our fish is fry, let's clean our yams. I'll be uh, cooking my mixed vegetable. I'll be eating it with yam. So let's clean our yams while our fish is frying up. So our fish is well fried. We just have to take it out of the pot now. So we'll be using the same oil to cook. Just put it in my onion. Let it simmer for a bit and then we can put in our spring onion and tomato. Okay, so while the onion, tomato, and spring onion are, uh, are on the fire, we'll get back and put our uh, yams into the pot so it can start cooking. So 
So we'll just put this into the pot and then we can place it on the fire. I love to season my yams with some salt before boiling. So I'll put in some salt and then water. Never mind, I love to put in hot water whenever I'm boiling my food. So I'm just putting hot water, but go ahead and put cold water if you want. So we can place it on the fire and let it cook. While it's cooking, we get back to our tomato on the fire. Let's check out our tomato. Mm -hmm. So our tomato is frying nicely. Let it be a bit longer. Okay, so it's been frying. I think it's time for us to add in the other vegetables. Here's a paprika, carrots, and green beans. So we're adding up every, all the other vegetables at this stage into the pot. Mix it properly. Okay, so we're going to cover this pot and let it simmer for a bit. Never mind, my pot doesn't, the lid is not really that good. I'm managing it. So it's been on the fire. Normally, I've, vegetables don't take too long to cook. But I notice that green beans take a bit longer than other vegetables. That's why I'm giving it some time. Some time on the fire. So we can put in all the other ingredients. I'll put in my pepper, some salt, seasoning cubes, It will mix it up properly. At this stage, feel free to taste and be sure that it's what you want. Mm -hmm. If not, you can add in any season, seasoning that is lacking. Okay, so everything is boiling nicely. I think our green beans is well cooked. Mm -hmm. So add in a cabbage. Look at how green and fresh the cabbage looks. That's why I love to wash it the way I did. When you boil it for too long, it, it destroys the nutrients in it. 
So try mm-hmm. considering this method when next you're preparing your cabbage. So let's mix it up and make sure the sauce is well mixed into the cabbage. The cabbage is well mixed with the sauce. Okay, so we're going to transfer the fish that we fried earlier into the pot. I'll just let everything simmer nicely together. And that is basically all about the cabbage. Let it simmer. And that, that is all about a cabbage. This is the end result of our mixed vegetable. It's not just cabbage, but mixed vegetable. I want to take this opportunity to appreciate you all for coming by, for watching this video to this very end. And I will encourage you to click on that red subscribe button. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing in order to enjoy more of my cooking videos. I'm hoping that you enjoy this video and you've learned something from this. Okay, so let's check out our yams. So it's boiling nicely. I think our yams are ready. I'm just going to drain the water out of it. <laughs> yeah, it's a mixed vegetable. So it's time for eating. Let's put some of it into the plate and then we can start with our eating. We've actually come to the end of the video. I'm just going to dish some of it into this plate. And I start to eat because I'm actually hungry right now. And I can't wait to eat. You can eat this mixed vegetable with yams. Ripe plantains, unripe plantains, rice, uh, a lot of things. Potato, sweet and Irish potato. In fact, there are a lot of other things that you can eat this mixed vegetable with. So it's something you should actually try and consider. So as I always do, just having a taste and enjoying it right from here thanks for watching and see you all again in the next video